Hi guys, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries with some new vintage bag haul and bagging, vintage jewelry. These are from the antique shop, not the antique mall where I was getting some duds. I just had to start my video over because I think I put my flashlight on my phone because I use my iPhone and it just was a very strange lighting. So here we go. This is the first thing I took out and I don't see any writing but i'm going to put it to the side because hopefully you find the other one i guess this is kind of an imitation cinnabar this is really pretty I'm not sure if there's supposed to be a stone in the middle and it is trafari i put that to the side very pretty glass beads, Aurora Borealis. Don't see any name. This is, wow, that's a really old, tiny pin. Right? That looks familiar for some reason. Is it Monet? The little ones are so hard to read. Let me get my loop. It's just, yeah, it's Monet. It was just written so much at an angle, I could not see it. But those are pretty Monet's. And looky here. I'm going to use the other one. Some kind of odd stone. 700 Club. Grumman. That was an Air Force base. Where they made airplanes and such. Circle pin. Another one of those earrings. Don't really care for them much. I love these little things. The little pen. I have them in all shapes. These are sugared. It looks like it's dipped in some sugar. If you can see that. I like those. This must have been, you know, it's two, two pens, so I'm assuming it's like, maybe it's a military thing or something. Not 100% sure about that. And we have a watch. It's time for Love Homes. Religious Pendant. A uh, gold tipped rose. That's pretty. This is pretty. It's got all of its little beads. And it's crown trafari. I see a little bit of glue, what looks to be glue on there, but that's okay. A little, a little bit of tangles. Some thin dangly type earrings. That's pretty. I mean it's a it's a cuff link but I still love it because it looks like mother of pearl back there with the fish. Very nicely done. Broken. A little watch. Just get these watches out of the way. Wow, that's a weird one. Sorry, the light is shining on there. That's that's so heavy too. Gianni Giorgio. Gianni Giorgio with a little LED kind of thing there. 
That's interesting. And let me tell you, when I say it's heavy. Ruby. It's a ruby. Cute little ruby. Cute little ruby ring. Yeah, just uh, another watch. This is glass with a little splattered gold paint and a gold ball. Clip on. I'm going to see if the other one's in there. That is a big shoe clip. You would have to have some big shoe. Timex. Parring, recruiting, retention, and retention. Hmm. What's attached to this? Pennsylvania Army National Guard. Oh, okay. Okay. What is this? This is a pretty dangle. Other fish. Yay. I have a lot of men's jewelry, but I mean, when it's pretty, it's pretty. And when it's, you know, when it's cool, it's cool. So I still like it. Eh. Earring. Is there a keychain on the other end? Is there something? The suspense? No. stuck to these wiry things. I bet I can get it off. Yes. Um, probably goes on a belt loop or something. Right? Oh, this is pretty. I love these type of bracelets. Is it goldette? Sometimes. Oh my gosh. Gold debt, New York. I'm good now. I'm good at this with some things. Oh, it has a turtle. I didn't even notice that. Gold debt makes a lot of these multi chain, multi little things. Cute. It's not in good shape, but it's still cute. Matching earrings right there. What do you think they are? down. Well, it looks like coral. I'm going to say coral. Yep, coral. Do they have all their... Yes, they do, so that's nice. Let me back it up. Oh, it's broken. Oh, here's another one. And here's that other one. And the other one. That's good. Very good. Ooh, what is this? I already love it just by looking at it. Oh my goodness. What is it? Look at how cool the chain was. Was this a bracelet? Oh man. If I just snip that off, I could wear this as a pendant. That's too cool. I love that. Love it. Yep. I'll hold on to it forever and it won't do anything. No, I will. I will. It seems easy. This is a big, heavy watch with some yuckiness on the bottom. These I get a ton of. And I was somebody told me once what they were. Some kind of button thing, right? That's pretty. Um, that might be in Latin, but that's a pretty one. A little stretchy. Four section locket gold content. Oh. Oh, are these are the kind that have the, like, they unfold when you open them. 
It's pretty. I like it. It's got, yep. Wow. I hope I could put it back together. Okay, I think, yes. I'm not sure why I thought it was going to be so hard. Like, a, you know, putting back together a piece of a puzzle. Maybe I didn't do it right. Okay. I think I did it right. It just doesn't want to close for me. Very cool. Is this a bird or is it just... Oh, a little piece is broken off here. Oh. That's big. I don't see any name. It's got that little hook thing. I wouldn't necessarily call it a C-class, but I guess you could. Big clip-on earring. I'm not sure if there was something supposed to be in there. Oh, here's that other one. Um, well, I like little things in bags now. Well, I always did, but... <laughs> Does it say anything? This looks like Damascene. Pretty Damascene. I don't know what that says. No, just like a number. It has the trombone. Is that what you call it? Clasp? Oh, I can't get it open. But it's very pretty. It's just a little charm. This is very pretty. That has a C clasp. Needs a good cleaning. I'm going to try to clean that. I think I'll... It's not open in the back, though. I could... take a chance and just put it in like a bowl with you know, the dishwasher tablet. That's also an old pin. Oh, yes. The other one was missing the little blue stone. Those are pretty. Yeah, but it's missing the stone. I don't know if I would have something to replace that. No, it might be in the bag. We'll keep looking. A little pendant. It's heavy. A little heart. Tiny little stud. I don't see anything on it. This is pretty. I have one of these. Let's see if it's gold filled or anything. No. It's mother of pearl beads. Very pretty. I have a pair, but they're not polished that much. They don't give off this much of a glow. But I still love them. It's interesting. This is missing a piece, unfortunately. It's probably, what is it? Alp alpaca, yep. Alpaca, which is not silver. Looky okay, what we have here. These are not genuine stones. These are just, um, they're plastic, but still scarab. Another one of these earrings. Oh, I didn't even look at the name. What does that say? Blair Isle? Oh, That's a different one, right? Let me get my thing. 
can't even get close to it. Oh, it's the applause or the play. <laughs> the other sugared uh, clip on. Just plain, plain black. The whole thing is plastic. This part too. This I've seen so many times. It's just kind of worn. A screw back earring. Very nice. I believe that says Coro. Yes, it does. These are cute. I haven't seen anything like that before with Coro. Uh, I don't think I have the other one though, sadly. Well, I'll put it to the side. Oh, cute. It's the, you know, gold nugget. Little stone. I like that. Look, little purple one. That's a pretty purple, too. I thought it had some writing on it, but no, no. It's cute, though. That is <gasps> Joe Mass. Ooh. Ooh, and I have the other one. Jomaz is a good name. Yes, these are very plain, but I don't care. Jomaz, I have, since I sold that Jomaz brooch, which I still regret because I loved it, and I don't run across mon many of this this uh, brand name designer. Oh, I'm not happy about that. I'm happy. I'm happy. And these are cool, actually, because that part's totally plastic. Right? Wow, beautiful green. Look how beautiful that is. That is a nice green. I love all kinds of green. And this is beautiful. Wow. This is, um, what do you say? 60s? Not sure. It's a pendant. I know that much. Little cufflink. American flag. That other earring. What is this? Is it a keychain? Oh, it's magnetic. Well, airplane. Maybe it's like a keychain or something? What is it? Oh, Learjet 45XR. Learjet. A lot of the um, famous people, like, they have their own personal Learjets. Another one of those earrings? I wouldn't know. Little angel. I think it's a small jet, right? Oh, what is that? Hmm. It's a pendant, but I don't know. Oh, and look, you know what? <laughs> Looks like some, but something might have been stuck to it. Do you think? Almost looks like a roasted chili pepper, but I don't know what that is. Here we have a mess. This is Tiger's Eye. And it's all messed up in these beads. Let me work my magic. Didn't work. Uh, well, we can leave that till the last thing. Um, cute little purple and clear. Little ring. Let's see if it has anything on it. Not a thing. Super lightweight. It's pretty. One of these. Two two of these. And a oh a cross with a star. 
That's pretty. And the other little cufflink. And these glass green beads. Very pretty. Glass beads. Green glass beads. A little pendant. Looks like kind of, um, what do you call that? Abalone ish. Abalone ish. Ooh. Puerto Rican fish scales by the Islander. Islander, yep. Did I just break one? Because of the extreme durability, lightness of Weight, interesting design, and the size, what, of the, oh, variety of colors. These fish scales, scale articles have become one of Puerto Rico's, Puerto Rico's uh, favorite gift and souvenir items. I wonder when that started. They seem pretty durable. They survived. And they look vintage. New house. That's a new one for me. New house. I'm trying to see if this other one is there. Yes. A little dirty, but these are glass. I didn't look that name up. Oh, these are pretty. They have some verdigris. So they would need to be cleaned. I'll keep them separated if I have the other one. This is pretty. I cannot read on there. Oh, transparent. Estee Lauder. Dare I open? Or not open. Okay. Oh, Estee Lauder with a little poof poof. Do people buy those still? Um, some sort of religious thing. Looks like it's kind of enameled. Interesting. Sweater guard, sweater clip. Not sure what they are always called, but I, I call them sweater clips. A bird. That's a cute bird. What's your name? Judy Lee. Judy Lee bird. Got a Riviera watch. Kind of interesting, right? I thought it was a watch, but it's not. <laughs> it's just a bracelet. I have one of these in a different color. It's, um, I think it's enamel on copper or something. Little blobs of enamel. Not bad. A little peace sign. Gold content. Doesn't look like it, but Laurel Birch. Well, that's pretty. Laurel Birch. That's a new one for me too. This is a big piece of some kind of stone. It's natural, not sure what kind, but I like it. Anything natural. Gold dipped um, leaf. I never saw see any marks on those. Ooh, some nice Aurora Borealis 
stones. I should keep those to the side. I may need them if I ever decide to fix anything. Oh, this is pretty. And it's old. Does it say something? Come closer. Made in Taiwan. Mother Pearl. Ooh, a fish. Oh, fishy, fishy. Cool. What is that material? Is that a pin? Oh, it's so small. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's Trafari. Crown Trafari. And... Oh, I love the stone. Just a little fishy pin like that. Or does it go on a necklace like that? No. I think this is glass. Oh, I like him. What is that? Whatever it is, it has some stones that are falling out, so I'll keep it in there. I'm not sure what the maker is, but it's pretty neat. That I could do. I could glue that back in there. It's like somebody tried to chew it open. Jeez. Oh! This looks like it matches that pin. Ow! Something just stuck me. Son of a gun. Alright, I'll keep it to the side. This is... I guess a bookmark, the M. Vernon, 1981. Bookmark. I don't get many of those. Here is a cross. Nothing attached to it. A little bracelet, nothing on there. Ooh, I like the beads. Ooh, they're never ending. More and more and more. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's that other earring. It's broken. Shoot. And something keeps poking me. It's really upsetting. <laughs> Stop poking me. Oh, this is attached to another earring. Uh, another necklace. Oh, it's got a lot of vertigree. Ew, I don't like that. But look at these beads. They almost look like vitamin E. They need a good cleaning. But they're glass. I wonder if this glows. I gotta find my black light. These are pretty neat. Look at those. Oh, and those are textured. Look at this. Oh, okay. I'm going to clean it. I'm going to take a before and after picture and post it on my, my YouTube community page. Okay? And then, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. <laughs> I'll probably put it in a, a bag. Because this side, um, I'm not... Most of this stuff I'm not keeping. But these I'm going to clean. And I'll take before and after pictures. Here's the other stone earring. These pretty leaves. These are cute. This was poking me in the finger. The ones that are never crowned Staffordshire, England. And how do you suppose this? Oh. Never have I found one that wasn't broken. Look, it's broken. They're very pretty. But they do not survive bags. An S. A Sarah Coventry S. Yay. I've found another Sarah cover tree as I was looking through stuff. This is not from this bag. It was just as I'm trying to sort and get organized. This is also Sarah. And it's um it's alimony. Cute. I'm gonna put that with mine. And you're back. <laughs> I knocked you over. Sorry. You're back. Then we have this, which is cool, but it is broken. Yeah, look, that was that other earring too. So that's going to go in the craft lot. I'm going to start selling craft lots because I have to. I just have so much stuff and it's just silly. I'm not a crafter uh, too much. I, I do do some, but 
All right, so here's the other one that's going to go with it. Oh, these are um, those Coca Pellies or something like that. Oh, puffy heart. That's cute. If I have the other one, I would clean it up. But I don't see it. So, goes in the craft. I can always use chains. Oh, this is one chain. I think it is attached to each other. I might have to... Eesh, no, so... Tangly. Yeah, they're supposed to be attached to each other. And this was the last thing that we just did not untangle because it's just too much. That's a weird chain. Look at that. But it's not old. And you would think, like, that looks really old, but it's not. It's got these danglies. But I am going to detach this. Oh, I see what's going on here. It's, um, yeah. Check for gold filled and no. But I will detach that and put the rest with that. Um, like I said, um, this stuff is going to all go in a craft lot. If you're interested in it, um, just give me, uh, shoot me an email and use the and I'll I'll link it or put that in my description vintage dot discoveries 21 at gmail.com and I'll put it in my description and whoever wants the uh, the crafty items and some of this is you know very good like this you know I have so many and I don't want I don't don't need another one so I'm gonna put that in the uh, the lot and probably some of the other stuff I put to the side but all right I'm glad uh, we could do this and I've got lots more so I'm gonna be trying to get one done every day and um, I also got a, a huge amount from um, the antique mall from a different seller and the stuff is pretty amazing so that's gonna be next all right Thanks for watching, guys, for always uh, your kind words and your support. And please subscribe if you haven't already and share my videos. It helps me a lot. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye.